our initial and one kiss. That's how we always sign cards, letters, gifts. We? You mean you and Jamie? Yes, me and Jamie. How many times? White roses, lilies, freesias, my favourites. Graham was the only other person who knew. Or well, maybe they're just from a friend, like Jay. <laughs> if he'd paid for an expensive bunch like this, he'd want me to know exactly who'd sent them. No, this has to be Jamie. Kim, he's gone. They might not have found his body, but you said it yourself. He is not coming back. Well, if it isn't Jamie, then this has to be some kind of warp joke. I mean, my son has drowned. My granddaughter's lost her father. He has another child on the way who'll never see his dad. And some vindictive sadist thinks this is funny. They are just flowers, nothing more, from someone who cares whose name starts with a J. Joseph. Of course, Joe, my step-grandson. <laughs> he must have heard and, well, he knows how much Jamie means to me. Meant to me. Well, that's nice. And this is exactly the kind of sick thing that evil, twisted weasel would do. A bunch of funeral flowers is a joke. Nobody can hate you that much. Hmm. Joe does. He's just like his father. Weak. Vindictive. Holds a grudge right to the bitter end. So at your lowest point, he pulls something like this. He must be some piece of work. It's just like everyone else. I can count my friends on one hand. My family loathe me. My staff either loathe me or are stealing from me, or both. Strong women. They scare a lot of people stiff. But not you. I only see you. I don't see all of this. That's how it's always been. Something my son never managed. He spent his last few weeks trying to claw his way back into my affections, and the harder he tried, the harder I pushed him away. What did he expect? I lost so many years in prison. It was him. Thoughts of him that... That's what got me through. And now he's gone, I... It's too late to tell him how much I loved him. <laughs> Said I'd meet Dawn up at the hop. She wants a word. Will you be OK on your own? Go. I'll be fine. I'll be back as soon as I'm done. But you will be back? Yeah, of course. Even though you know now exactly who you're involved with. My son's gone, and look at me. One single bunch of flowers from someone who loathes me. No friends, no family support. I am going nowhere, no matter what. I've got you back. Listen, just call me if you need me. I told you it's safe to leave me for five minutes. Oh. Sorry. I know this is a bad time. Well, the worst. If you're even thinking of backing out tomorrow... That's not why I'm here. It's something you need to know. I tried to pay a bill this morning and I couldn't because... there wasn't enough money in the surgery account. There was plenty there last week. And even more the week before. I I've just lost my son. Think I care about your cash flow? Your son? My partner, and the only other person with access to the banking account. Sorry, Kim, I can't let this go. The day we lost Jamie, someone transferred cash, and I mean a load of it. Seriously? Yeah, I've got the statement. I've marked everything in red. A substantial amount. It's vanished. I don't know how I'm going to pay the wages bill this month. And this isn't a regular payment? 
No, I called the bank. It's from some weird account that we've never paid anything into before. There's no invoice, there's no reference. And you think Jamie took the money? No other explanation. I know you want me to leave you alone. Actually, now's as good a time as any. Oh, and just so as you know, Will's moving into the groundkeeper's cottage to support me. Will could have lost Dawn too. You know that? I don't understand. If Jamie had got what he wanted. You're making no sense. When he went into that lake, he was trying to answer the phone to someone, right? That's what the police told us probably happened. But what's that got to do with Will or his daughter? Well, it was me. Calling him. I mean, it had to be. You saw me. You were there. But I didn't know he wasn't on hands free. I didn't know that he was stupid enough to... <sighs> Look, when you and Diane found me, I'd been waiting for ages so that we could just leave and, and get married. So I was phoning him from the car. So now you're blaming yourself? Oh, makes two of us. But now I know the truth. The lies he was telling me, what he was really going to do to me. You know, I don't feel guilty. I just hate myself for hoping and praying that he hadn't drowned. But Kim, he has. He is lying somewhere in that lake, dead. Lies? What lies? Look, Gabby, sit down. This stress, it's not good for you or the baby. I hope his last moments were terrifying. And I hope he felt guilty for trying to kill you. And I hope he died slowly, knowing that I'd find out what he'd done to me. And I'd hate him for it. Hate him for what? I wasn't the one he wanted to run away with. It was Dawn. He'd planned it all, this new life together, him, Dawn and Lucas, miles away. Kim, he was going to run away and never come back. <laughs>